Well, people, today is Sunday. Um, I went to church, man, and I feel like the pastors were talking to me. I feel like um, they told me deep in my heart from me saying this. It's more like God was talking to me through the pastor and basically telling me that it doesn't matter how big your company is. What is important if you teach the right person and then grow later. Don't grow fast and can't control it comparing to just grow your company teach those who's willing to learn and get rid of the ones that doesn't want to learn so with that being said um i feel like he was talking to me because i'm trying to grow this company to this big mass multi-million company which i can do that which is just taking my time so if y'all watch my videos in the history you know you can basically much understand where I'm coming from um, building an empire it's not really easy as what most people post on YouTube and say oh it's easy blah 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 anybody can do it that's 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 just a damn lie man um, talking from my aspect it's just that's not easy um, it's very challenging. It's just it's a lot of hard work. People that say, "Oh, work smart, not hard." That's a damn lie. You gotta work hard and smart to achieve what you really want. There's no such thing as taking a shortcut because as soon as you take a shortcut, it's just gonna come back and bite you and cost you more money. Yeah, you might got money that moment, maybe twenty, thirty dollars more, but it's not gonna cost you two or three hundred dollars later. So technically you went backwards. So with that said, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that uh, things takes time, you know. It's frustrating, but it takes time. And uh, anything can happen. So those of you guys are out there that, you know, you guys watch my videos or not, you know, I... What I'm saying is this, man. Stick to something, do it, get good at it, and then go independent. Once you go independent, you're gonna understand that you thought that you work hard, you're gonna work twice as harder. Because it's, it's your stuff, it's your money, it's your independency, it's your um, hard work compared to your hard work that you have done in the past, but this time it's for yourself, with no capital, no money, no nothing. It's just hard work. And the little bit of capital you got is what makes you get past. I started with $30 in my pocket wondering if I'm going to have more money. Three years ago. That $30 and a year later, it turned out to be $150,000. That, that sounds like it's a lot of money. Trust me. At one period of time, I was like, man, if I make $150,000, oh, man, i will be good. Trust me, that's nothing. Because, because now you have to keep you got to keep flowing you got to keep making more money because you made hundred fifty thousand dollars uh you have to f basically you decide well let me fix the truck let me go ahead and put more money in the truck because i can fix it let me go buy some more tools let me stock on more supplies um then you got a helper with you full time which you know five six hundred dollars a week um then you gotta put gas in the truck and, and i mean the list goes on and on and on and man a hundred fifty thousand dollars a year or nothing you know you're going to spend about $230,000 in gas because that's all you're doing running around. Does that come from your trip charge? Yeah. You know, most people call it trip charge, free service, but there's a trip charge to that. I just tell people to fly it like it is. We give out free estimates because all our estimates are free. We just charge you a trip charge of $45. That basically goes for the car, for the gas. That's what it's, it's for, you know. So... Like I said, man, it's um, it's a journey, and um, as I go, as I learn, I I'm just gonna keep telling you guys. Um, and I, I don't want somebody to make the same mistake I did because people um, they like to leave a lot of details out of your business, especially in the electrical field. They like to tell you a bunch of crap and they say, oh, this is possible. It's not, man. 
if you come from my background, which I came from having no money, um, working day by day, paycheck by paycheck, you're going to understand that's very hard. But um, step by step, man, it just keep working hard. Um, they'll tell you, oh, put this on this website, that website. And there's a lot of companies out there that I won't recommend. Uh, I, me personally, I have worked with uh, Thumbtack. They're a very good company. I have increased my work tremendously. There's competition out there, but there's competition like everything else. Your, your, what you do is what keeps customers coming back. And just to be honest, out of a, out of 180 people that I've done work for last year, uh, I have 70 repeat customers, and 40 or 50 of them refer me to somebody else, and that kept me busy even working on Sundays to the point where I was like, okay, I need to slow down. So, but with that said, you know, just being honest, I don't tag to me where it's great. Any other company out there, I don't know. I, I used Home Advisor one time. They really suck. They just take your money. Uh, and that just, just sucks. In my part, it just sucks. Thumbtack works great for me. And in electrical industry, I don't know anything of it but my electrical industry. That's all I can say. That being said, uh, you keep bidding because the more you bid, um, the more likely it's a chance to you get more jobs. You know, I spent one time two or three days bidding not getting money or not getting work but i realized that the more i bid it's the more more, more the more customers i got and so it was good to put your relationship like hi my name is julio i've been doing this blah 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 years you know uh you put that you need request of a, uh, an outlet uh to repair an outlet is 30 40 dollars and people are probably saying man 30 40 dollars is not enough let me tell you something man Thirty or forty dollars a day is not a lot, but if you times that thirty forty dollars and you do four of them a day, it takes you fifteen minutes, and you put twenty dollars in your gas in your vehicle, uh, you made a hundred. You you're gonna make about a hundred fifty dollars easy, and just making four or five hours takes you what 10, 15 minutes. Trust me, man, I I done this a long time ago. I specialize on just doing lights and outlets and switching. Because 45 hours, I come in there and switch it out. I'm always going to find someone another problem. They're going to pay me for that too. Sometimes I'm coming up with $100, $120 a day. So anyway, with that being said, guys, my daughter's calling me. I got to get back to work, man. Family time. That being said, man, numbers pays off.